Welcoming to the show, Representative Blake Farenthold, Republican from Texas. Sir, thank you very much for uh, joining us tonight. Uh, we, we saw a story, Cameron saw a story here, and we, and we want to give you a call, and thank you for coming on the show. My pleasure. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Congressman Farenthold. Um, let's talk about the extradition of um, the killer of uh, ICE agent Jaime Zapata, uh, Julian Zapata Espinoza. Um, you, you issued a statement about it today. Talk about that. Talk about the story and talk about what you think is going to happen next. Well, you know, we've seen an era of unprecedented cooperation with the uh, Mexican government over the fa- past few years with the, uh, uh, w- with the battle against the drug cartels. And uh, that continues. You know, you, you used to watch the movies where if you got across the border to Mexico, uh, you were safe from extradition to the United States, mm-hmm. and that's not true anymore. And we had the uh, the murder of uh, Agent Jaime Zapata and the attempted murder of Victor Avila. Mm-hmm. And working with the Mexican government, we were able to bring uh, at least one of those involved uh, back to the United States to face justice. And uh, we're continuing to... Uh, continuing to pursue that. And we've just got to make sure that we continue to work well with the Mexican government and don't do stupid things like Operation Fast and Furious to jeopardize that relationship. Yeah, Congressman, in all due respect, you said, you know, unprecedented cooperation with the Mexican government. I was going to interrupt you and say, what about Fast and Furious? Because there was a lot going on that we did not tell the Mexican government about, um, including Fast and Furious, and, and, and Lord knows what else. And, and you guys uh, and you men and women up there on Capitol Hill are looking into this, but you know this is one of the hugest possible uh, effects of Fast and Furious that you don't hear talked about a lot. You know we are working very closely with the uh, Mexican government. We, you know, we we're working with them, providing them with uh, training to develop a professional police force uh, on the national level. We're providing them resources like Black Hawk helicopters and. Uh, Though, you know, there's no uh, official announcement as we continue to patrol the border with the uh, Predator drones, I'm imagining that uh, if we're not sharing that information with the Mexican government, I'd be uh, very surprised because, you know, you don't hear any pushback about those Predators uh, fl- uh, flying along the border. Right. What that tells me as an observer is we're sharing some of that intel with the Mexicans. We're talking to Congressman Blake Farenthold, Republican of Texas. Now, Congressman, reading in the Brownsville Herald, um, they interviewed Mary Zapata, Jaime's mother, notified the extradition and arraignment this morning. It says, it's been 10 months already. We haven't heard anything or nothing had been done. You know, you wonder, did they forget about my son? I mean, you just just reading that has got to, it's just so chilling to think about this. Um, talk I, about your ex- yeah. experience with her. You know, I've met with the Zapata family. They are such fine people. It's a law enforcement family. But they are frustrated, just like uh, a lot of the American people are frustrated at how long uh, these investigations and getting these results t- uh, take. We're working very closely in our office. You know, I, I am her congressman, right. and uh, we, we're working to get the information that they want uh, from uh, from ICE and from the Mexican government. But, you know, there's a delicate balance being... Uh, being struck between continuing the investigation, continuing the uh, prosecutions, and staying in touch with the families. And the Zapatas understand, being law enforcement, that this takes some time, but they're also frustrated with how much time it's taking. Sure. Congressman, it's Rob Bluey with the Heritage Foundation. I wanted to ask what steps, if any, you plan to take uh, on Capitol Hill in Congress. Well, again, you know, we're, we're, we're working with ICE, and really, I, I think what we've got to do is preserve uh, the, the memory of uh, Agent Zapata uh, and the sacrifice, that, uh, the ultimate sacrifice that he made for this country by winning the war on drugs. Uh, Representative Blake Farenthold, Republican from Texas, joining us tonight on Cam and Company. Representative Farenthold, uh, you mentioned Fast and Furious, obviously a big issue for us here at NRA News, and uh, we hear about more hearings coming up from Representative Isla on the 24th of January. Uh, what are you hearing? What's going on up there in, in your sort of neck of the woods, yeah, what you hear yeah, about I'm, it? I'm hoping that that, uh, that comes together. I'm not sure how finalized it has gotten. You know, we've offered... Uh, Mr. Holder, 10 dates, and I think we've pretty much settled on uh, the 24th. There are a lot of questions still remaining in Fast and Furious. How high does this go? Who know who, who knew what, when? And I think just with this Zapata case continuing, 
Uh, I, I think there's some additional questions to be asked and answered about what consideration was given to this unprecedented level of cooperation uh, we've had with Mexico and how uh, Operation Fast and Furious uh, has jeopardized it. it. It's unbelievable that the Mexican government, our neighbors uh, and our friends, were kept completely in the dark in this program. Congressman, on uh, PJ Media tonight, uh, before we start the show, there's a, a, a quick sentence or two, a breaking bombshell news on DOJ perjury imminent. Uh, it says, PJ Media will run a story in the next 36 hours revealing bombshell instances of lying under penalty of perjury at the Justice Department. Uh, they hear it involves criminal acts and also strangely implicates congressional districting, among other matters. Have you heard anything about this? I have not yet. You know, we I just got back to Corpus Christi uh, late last night. And uh, and actually spent the day Christmas shopping. What'd you buy? So I'm you know <laughs> I I I I'll, now I will go on the internet as yes. soon as we hang up and, <laughs> and get up to date on this. So is there any, any uh, anything? Uh, I don't know if your family's listening, but can you give us any idea of, of what you bought? Um, Actually, I'm sitting in the car uh, with my family. Okay. Ah! <laughs> with, with, our, with our Sirius XM radio. Thank you. Thank you. We won't say Love anything there. All right. Bef- <laughs> let's, uh, before we let you go, if we can switch gears for one second. Congressman, uh, we're sitting here with uh, Rob Blue from Heritage, who follows us a lot as well, too. When you, when you hear Nancy Pelosi talking about the radical wing, the radical Tea Partiers holding back uh, this whole mess w- on Capitol Hill with, uh, with the payroll tax cut extension, uh, and it just seems like Congress is just so dysfunctional these days, and there's story after story about how President Obama is taking advantage of this, and the GOP couldn't look worse. We, we, are, we, are, n- we are not dysfunctional. The Republican House passed a one-year deal. The Senate comes back with two months. The, the problem is we're losing the message, messaging war on this. We so have the moral high ground on this. We've got a long-term solution, a long-term doc fix, and legitimate pay for it without raising fees. And we're losing the message war on this. It's clear that the mainstream media is in the tank with the Obama administration and the Democrats. We could not have picked a better place to stand our ground. We're losing the messaging war, and our Tea Party friends, you know, they said they're going to have our back, but I'm not hearing a lot from them. We are doing what they sent us to do, right. and they're, they're just, I guess they're out Christmas shopping, too. <laughs> well, it's good for the economy, but I guess not good for the, uh, for the country. Congressman, well, Congressman, it's Rob Bluey again, and I was just saying the same thing uh, earlier in the show about uh, the mainstream media being completely on board with the Obama administration. It's almost like they're reading from the same talking points. Now, what are you doing, though, to, to, to win back the messaging war? What can you do in your district, or what can other conservatives do? Well, listen, the, the, the timing's bad. A lot of our local radio talk show folks are in reruns now is they're on Christmas break. But, you know, I've, I've told my press department, get me on anywhere. I'll drive to San Antonio to do the satellite feeds on the on the networks. I'm here on with you guys. Listen, you, we, we have got to get the message out that we are doing not only what the president asked, which is really weird, but we're doing what's <laughs> best for the country. Right. Absolutely. Representative Blake Farron. We're Farrenho- taking heat for agreeing with Obama. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Crazier things have happened. <laughs> it is pretty crazy, uh-huh. sir. Representative Farron Holt, thank you so much for taking time. Thank you for taking time. We are actually sitting in your car listening. By the way, thank you to Sirius XM Patriot 125. We appreciate that. And listening to Cam and Company. You have a wonderful Christmas, and, and, and we'll talk to you soon, sir. All right. Merry Christmas. Bye-bye. Thank right, you. Congressman.